grandchildren dream of becoming a firefighter. But Herb Delbridge wanted to ride like one. So I give them this number here. <laughs> they know I'm out. <laughs> The Rockville man's wish came true in 2014. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. The 77-year-old found his treasure. I was dumbfounded from it. I said it was so beautiful. Rusting by the side of the road in Middlesex County. It was a dream floating right on through. Herb's vision on her fellow veterans. And this one here is the last major battle we had was the 101st Airborne at Hamburger Hill. And those who never came home. <laughs> I've seen death too many times and too much of it around me. Herb survived a hellish period as a platoon sergeant in Vietnam. I lost so many Marines over there. I went through three platoons while I was there in nine months on operations there. And so I felt like I had to do something for the veterans. He lives with scars both on the outside and in. Yeah, I got shot twice in July the 8th. I was shot twice on that battle and my whole platoon was wiped out. But Herb is finding brighter days on four wheels. I'm getting the average around nine, nine and a half miles to the gallon now, uh, a diesel, so. <laughs> Herb spent tens of thousands of dollars of his own money restoring and creating the Purple Heart fire truck. It's worth every penny of it. Delbridge shares his moving memorial with everyone across central Virginia. Yeah, I'm going to the Oyster Festival. I'm going to Warsaw parades. Powhatan, uh, Sandstone. His vibrant vehicle elicits salutes and stares from those who served. And you ought to see the eyes of the veterans when you ride it, the, people, the tears come in. Each branch of the military represented bumper to bumper. And here, as you see, the Coast Guard, the helicopter here. Ken Hayden airbrushed Herb's vision into reality. It was morning till night, four months. The artist never worked on a canvas like this. It is a one-of-a-kind job. It will never be done again. Herb could not be more pleased. I'm going to buy me a fire truck. Linda Delbridge had initial doubts about her husband's wishes. Nicely, I said, oh, no. <laughs> but she says Herb's all-consuming hobby is pulling him out of debilitating PTSD. He's now comfortable with himself, I think is the best way I can put it. He went through a lot. Yes, yes, a lot of joy. And pride, a lot of pride. In high demand, Herb is literally gearing up for the upcoming parade season. The first one called me, that's when I go. His golden years are anything but R&R. &R. From about April until the end of December, it's almost every weekend we have an event. It was never Herb Delbridge's intention to save anyone with his Purple Heart fire truck. I wouldn't trade it for nothing right now. No, I wouldn't. But little did he know, his prized possession would rescue the man behind the wheel. It keeps me going. And, well, something I have to do. My heart tells me I got to do it. So I'm going to do it till I die. Well, with spring nearly upon us, the Purple Heart fire truck is coming out of hibernation. Herb shares the joy of his four-wheeled creation, welcoming up to 14 veterans to climb on board as he rolls through parades across central Virginia. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.